to work or school tomorrow, how'd you like to get there faster with help from artificial intelligence? Tonight, the state is exploring how AI can help Californians on the road. CBSA's Jasmine Ramirez shares how Caltrans and UC San Diego hope AI can actually improve traffic across the state. Sounds encouraging. It does. It sounds exciting. So the goal is to help cut down on the time we spend in traffic and also make the roads a safer place. Many of us are familiar with AI tools like ChatGPT. Now California is looking to apply the power of AI to the roadways. If it can beat human drivers, I'm all for it. All in all, just in AI in general, I don't think is a great idea. Caltrans wants AI to look at crash data and where traffic bottlenecks, then use predictive analytics to find hot spots and address the issues. We can dial up uh, you know, the red lights in areas and, and, and make sure that they're on, they're timed and they're, they're doing their jobs uh, to, to keep traffic flowing, but also, uh, you know, slowing people down. AI is already being used on the roads, driverless cars, many blind spot sensors and cameras. Fuse that data. Tonight I spoke with a UC San Diego professor who says AI has a lot of potential on our roadways. But the other thing is can be real time congestion control, real time you know, providing better safety, how safety comes in, because think about all the vehicles, they're collecting data. Tech companies are being asked to apply to Caltrans and show how generative AI can improve traffic. The focus is on helping congestion and improving safety for cyclists, pedestrians, and road workers. Our stated goal is to eliminate deaths or serious injuries on our state highways by 2050. And uh, and we believe that uh, we, we have to use every tool that's available uh, in our arsenal. And tech companies have two more weeks to submit their ideas to Caltrans. AI is also being considered as a tool to help other state agencies improve services, including call centers.